Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a tutorial to share with you today. We're getting tremendous inspiration from this book called A Beginner's Guide to Constructing the Universe, The Mathematical Archetypes of Nature, Art, and Science, A Voyage from 1 to 10. And we've been working on the Pentad for several lessons now and today we're going to work on nesting golden rectangles. Now I have been really loving the lessons that we have been doing based on this book and it's really given me a greater and deeper appreciation of the golden section and phi and phi. For this, I'm going to set my compass at about three inches, a little bit less than three inches. And I'm going to start by making a circle, not quite in the center of my page, a little bit off center. Next, I'm going to take my straight edge and draw a diameter straight through the center. I'm going to set my compass at the bottom of that diameter and swing an arc on either side. You do need to expand your compass so that you can swing arcs on either side. You're going to repeat that by placing, placing your compass on the top part of the diameter and swinging so that the arcs cross. And now we have our two points that we can connect. And in this way, we will bisect our diameter and give us four division of a circle. Now with the four division of a circle, we can create our square. And with our square, then we can create our golden rectangle. So I'm erasing those extra arcs. And now we can connect each of those points so that we can make our square. It's best to use as sharp of a point as possible when constructing your squares and your rectangles so that when you take your measurements, you can have the least amount of discrepancy. I noticed that when I was using a thicker pencil that our measurements were not as accurate. I'm erasing all of those extra arcs and now I'm going to measure my square using my calipers. This gives me the most accurate measurement and I wanna make sure that the measurements are accurate for the top and the bottom. And I'm going to now find the midpoint of my square and then use my calipers in order to mark the midpoint on the top and the bottom. You don't need to draw a line straight through, but I typically draw a line straight through my square, but you really just need the points at the top and the bottom in order to do the next step, and that is to use your compass and place it at that midpoint, adjust it so that it is at the corner of your square so that you can swing an arc, and you're going to do that again, the bottom with your midpoint and the corner of your square so that you can swing another arc. Now we're going to take our ruler and we're going to set it at the top of our square, extend that so that it crosses that arc, do the same for the bottom. And now we wanna connect on the side so that we can finish off our rectangle. So now we have our golden rectangle and we can double check to make sure that it is a golden rectangle by measuring our greater portion of our rectangle and our lesser portion of our rectangle so that we can see that we have actually cut a golden section in this rectangle. Next, we can use our calculator to discover our ratio. And you can do this with the smaller to the larger portion and the larger portion to the whole. So we have 0.6173, which is pretty good. We can also find the ratio of the larger portion to the whole, and that is 0.6183, which is also very good. So the lesser of the golden ratio called phi is 0.6180339, and the larger phi is 1.6180339. And of course, those digits go on to infinity. Now we're going to work on our nesting golden rectangles. In order to do this, we're going to take the golden rectangle and measure the base, and then we're going to measure up the side so that we end up with a square within this golden rectangle. Then we can connect those points with our straight edge, and now we have a square and we have created a new golden rectangle. I'm measuring these pieces so that we can continue making smaller and smaller golden rectangles. And you can also check your ratios, again, using the smaller portion to the larger portion, and also the larger portion to the whole. And you can find either the lesser of the golden ratios or 
the larger of the golden ratios. It depends on which number you divide, whether you're finding the larger or the smaller. When you're using the smaller portion divided by the larger portion, you're finding the smaller golden ratio. And if you're using the larger portion divided by the smaller portion, you are finding the larger or the greater of the golden ratio. So I'm just making sure that everything is accurate because it was just a little bit off and these small discrepancies can become really big errors as you are doing the math to find your golden ratio. So I'm going to adjust this and it was maybe 0 0.02 inches off, but that was enough to give us an incorrect golden ratio. So I'm just double checking that each of our sections are correct. And this is especially critical as you make your smaller and smaller nesting golden rectangles. So now I have my smaller portion and my larger portion and my total. And now I can find my golden ratio for this section as well. I'm going to find the lesser of the golden ratios by dividing the small portion by the larger portion and I get 0.615, so pretty good still. And then the larger portion to the whole and that is 0.619. So our accuracy is still pretty good, but we still have smaller golden rectangles to make. So now I'm going to measure another small square in that rectangle and I'm going to draw my line, creating both a square and a new golden rectangle. Once again, I can measure the small portion of that golden rectangle in order to create another square. And I'm just going to make sure that the lines are correct all the way up to the top. I did erase a little bit, so I wanted to make sure that everything was accurate because at this point we need to be as careful as possible. And now I'm measuring the larger square just to make sure because just a hair off can make a huge error as you get into your smaller golden rectangles. This is where the calipers come in tremendously helpful. When I did this project using just a ruler, I could only get about two or maybe three nesting golden rectangles before the accuracy was so bad that it just looked like two squares or one square and a very skinny rectangle. So using our calipers and a sharp pencil really helps with the accuracy for this project. I'm continuing to double check each portion of our golden rectangle to make sure that each section is accurate. And I'm finding that actually there is a small mistake. And these small mistakes aren't going to change the visual aspect of our golden ratio if you only do two or three, but it will definitely change it the smaller you get. It's not just going to change the math, but visually it's not going to look like your golden rectangle. So I did need to erase a little bit and redraw some of these squares and rectangles. It was only just a little bit off, but that was enough to change the proportion. And that would make it so much more difficult in, to get the smaller rectangles moving forward from this point. So now I am redrawing that square and now our golden rectangle looks much better. I'm updating that measurement and double checking with the calipers before I create the smaller square within that little rectangle space. Checking with the math, and now our golden proportion is starting to get a little bit distorted. I'm at 0.625, and our golden ratio is 0.618339. And so we're starting to see that we're getting farther away from our golden ratio. So now we're going to do our square. Now that I've checked the math and we're still okay, we're not doing great, but we're still okay enough to do another smaller golden rectangle. So I am constructing my square drawing the line and you can see at this point that it still looks like a square and a rectangle and there's just maybe one more opportunity to do one tiny little square 
in that remaining rectangle. I want to check the math at this point and realizing that the math is getting farther and farther away from our golden ratio at 0.58. So we are losing our precision and accuracy at this point, but we are going to add in that last square. So we have a little square to add in there, adding our calipers just to confirm the size, adding our points on each of those lines, and then we can use our ruler in order to create that square and that little rectangle. Double checking once again, it is so much more challenging making sure that we have accuracy as we get smaller and smaller. And you can see that we have now lost that golden rectangle look we can see just with our eyes that it doesn't quite have that same proportion as it did with the larger golden rectangle i hope that you enjoyed this look at our geometry lesson using the book a beginner's guide to constructing the universe it has been so helpful with our geometry main lesson block i hope that you'll check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information you can find the link to that blog post in the description box below and if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis you can find me on instagram and now on tiktok at pepper and pine